Welcome to another edition of this Be Real TV Smoke Box. I got none other than the <laughs> legendary Too Short up in I'm this in the box. motherfucker, man. Hey, listen, a lot of people hit me up in the comments in most of the smoke boxes, always with suggestions and who they want. Mm -hmm. And you know, Too Short's always one of the people <laughs> that uh, comes up. And it's good to have you. You know, we went into the, you know, Hall of Fame, the, the hip hop honors. Yes, we did. Together. Same time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, sure did. That, was a big, that was a big moment. That was a big moment for both of us because I was a fan of you since day one. You know what I mean? And to, go, and to go in, you know, to the to the honors with you at the same time, along with Slick Rick and Naughty by Nature. And I believe De La Soul, right? Yep. That was great, man. How'd that feel? Uh, you know, um, like you said, we've been doing it a long time, man. And uh, a lot of achievements. And you just feel like... Um, you know, it's, it's hard work. People always say, you know, how's it feel to be in the game so long? But it's just hard work. And it, it's like, I, I feel like it's not a big deal. You, you're talented, most, first and foremost, you're talented. Right. right. But that ain't shit. You got to put yeah. the hard work in. You got to put so, the work in. And you, you in, indeed put the work in for that. I mean, because now you're celebrating 30 years of the re release of your first album. Shit, yeah. And that, you know, there's only a few people that can can that can celebrate a 30-year first album release while still being in the game relevant <laughs> as a motherfucker today. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're like a handful of motherfuckers do that shit. You're one of them. I mean, you're, you're <coughs> like definitely, you know, on, on, on Cypress Hills and we've been around for 23 going on 24 years. We're behind y'all. You know, we're behind your school and out of, out of your school, man. I mean, fuck, you, you've you been able to stand the test of time like no other. You, you always know how to come with the wicked shit. It's the funk, man. It's the funk. It's just the, the, the foundation is the funk. I'm a 70s kid, you know. Who uh, just really just grew up on that Parliament fucking delicate man? It's just in my DNA, and I just, I just when I get in the studio to this day, I'm like, is, is it funky? You know, it's a lot of ways you can make hip hop. You can you can go with the drums, you can go with the horns, you can do it, you know, up tempo, all that shit, mellow. But I'm just saying, I I just stick with that funky shit, and it never lets me down ever. And I just talk a lot of shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's good too. It, it, you know it was crazy because it, you could you could see that it you, in your music you could hear it was a West Coast influence. Yeah. But it, you know, obviously, you coming from from the Northern Cali and shit, it's it's a different play. And, and one of my homies from there kind of told me the way it was with music. Like mm -hmm. a lot of us on this side, we leaned on the gangster shit a yeah. lot. That's where you get the NWAs, the Compton's Most Wanted, and and so and so, right? But in the Bay, it was it was like. Cause, cause, cause we grew up around like that gangbang culture. A lot of the blood, block the block neighborhood, block, the neighborhood, yeah. no doubt. So that was a lot of the influence, the gangster rapping. But on y'all side, y'all came with more of the pimpish, laid back funk shit. You know? Yeah, cause you see a lot of that in the streets. It was, it was a lot of gangster shit going on in the Bay. Always is, but, but when I was coming up, you see a lot of pimping. You see it up close and personal. It'd be right there, just you know, somebody in a Cadillac like this with some bitches in the back. It just was. That's just the way it was, and um, and it, it reflected in the music. Man, a lot of cats who came from the Bay would always drop references to "I'm a player, I'm a pimp," and that just was kind of part of the lifestyle up there. And it never really took. It's crazy, but it never really took on the blue and red crip blood, you know. No, it didn't. And it's the, it's the same element, you know. Neighborhoods, certain neighborhoods hate yes. other neighborhoods, certain yes, blocks hate sure. other blocks. That's everywhere. But it just yeah. didn't go blue and red, so. The music was allowed to be different from NorCal and SoCal, so you know, that's yeah. just what it is. What it is, man. But it, it, to an outsider, it all sounds like Cali. It all sounds like Cali, exactly. Did in that time, did anybody wait when when you were coming on the player shit? Did like other you know players and Max and Pimps try to like mentor you and shit? Like you oh, know how like when Snoop Dogg started mentioning it, you yeah. he had Bishop come and <coughs> you know come on his side and be like you know. Hey, this is yeah. Well, indirectly, man, we got a lot of a lot of old pimps in the in the from the town who um who really really did kind of nurture my career, man. They did kind of make sure that that it, I, I kept it on point and and you made knew sure. what the game was. Yeah, you know, and then I and indirectly I was you know kind of fascinated by a lot of a lot of pimps I didn't even know directly back then, you know. Yeah. I kind of just uh, just peeked the game and hear the stories and see it see it up close how they would move around. I'm like, yeah, that's that shit. So I was I was more or less telling the story of the city. Like people say, damn, did you pimp all those hoes? You fuck all those bitches, all that shit. I'm just I'm really like 
grabbing the energy from the city of Oakland and giving it back to it, it, music. So, you know, it's just, it was easy. You easy. Know, you know motherfuckers want to know if you really, you know, bang more bitches than still. Than still. <laughs> you already know that. I, um, <laughs> but the game is to be, you know, so hey, like talk. All I can say is, man, I look back and, and, and think, did I really do all that shit, man? It's, it's a lot. It's a lot. We put, I mean, 30 years. We put those Will Chamberlain numbers on the calculator and uh, you just can't fuck that much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you can't fuck 20,000 bitches. It's crazy. You just put it on the calculator. How many you got to fuck a day in a year in a lifetime? And be a little realistic. Yeah, you got to. Yeah, exactly. Man. So I am. Um, <laughs> so I, I, I know you have. Um, obviously, we're celebrating 30 years of, of the first album. <coughs> so I know you mm -hmm. got you got a new album coming out yeah. behind that. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm actually naming the new album. I was thinking all these fancy titles and I'm like, you got to stand up. Like when I had um. In 1996, I named my album, album number 10. Right. And at that time, 10 albums was a big number in hip hop. It was a big number, like you got 10 albums. It was like, who the fuck has 10 albums? But now it's like, uh, that number, you know, I, I, I like to play on the numbers. Go listen to the first verse of Blow the Whistle. It's just all mathematics. It's just adding up little stupid shit, like 225,000 hours is just a, just a lot of years of rapping. Just a little shit, but um, I, I couldn't think of a title, man, so I came with the 30th anniversary is the actual name of the album. <laughs> you got anybody on that coming with you? Oh, yeah. I got the, the usual suspects. Um, there's some Snoop Dogg on there, some 2 Chainz, some T.I., E-40. Uh, shit, who's on that motherfucker? I got I went and got some features, man. Uh, French Montana's on there, Jeremiah. See, and, and, and that speaks to how motherfuckers fuck with you. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, how you still command that respect in the game, and, 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 and it speaks to your relevance from... From back in the day, I, and I don't know if you remember this, me and, me and a few of my guys here at Be Real TV were talking about this, but Biggie did an a interview a long time ago where they asked him about rappers and he rated them. Mm -hmm. And you were one of the motherfuckers that he fucked with. He gave a high rating to that, you know, he fucking loved you, you know what I'm Hell saying? Yeah. He didn't love everybody, you know what I'm saying? Big, Big was my homie, though. I can, I can honestly say that was my homie, homie. But we smoked, we chilled, we, we worked. You made know, music shit. but from from a guy like a, a, a guy like Big to all these new cats now who are the relevant players in the game now, fucking with you, man. I mean, <laughs> that's you know, <coughs> that that's that's telling. Yeah, you gotta um, to me, man, and I know I know cats like Snoop see what I see in the shit because you really gotta every year there's a new school coming in, and you can't sit there and be like the school I came from was the best. It's hip hop. Yeah. So if you're not if you're not really like fucking with motherfuckers, like you know, doing shit like this, sitting down, chopping it up with them, you know, knowing the culture, the young ones knowing the old school culture, and the OGs knowing the new shit. If you're not doing it, you're not really you're not really appreciating all the hip hop. No. You're missing something. Yeah. You're missing something. I love really working with the youngsters. I like I like working with them. I can come in the studio session and take over. Yeah. Like do this, do that, that. But I like going in sometimes and just like, let me just drop a 16 and y'all do what the fuck y'all want with it. But you know what's crazy is that when you do that and you lead it, they learn something from oh, yeah. that. It, it's hot both ways though. That's the point I'm trying yeah. to prove. Either way. Either way. If I come in and take over, I'm gonna lead the youngster to a great song. And I believe a lot of talented youngsters, if you just, you know, going there, it's, it's just like mus musicians, man. Just make music together. C short, that's the actual old school mentality that was back in the day whereas there was that bridge where the old school knew what the younger school that was coming was and the yeah. new school appreciated that old school and they kind of bridged it and they passed torches without no problem there was there was something in the last generation that they didn't want to pass torches. Too much swag in hip hop. Too, too much, much swag and you know they felt this new generation too cocky or whatever but still man it all, there's always got to be a bridge somewhere, and, and you definitely know where that bridge is at. You always find it and, and yeah, make it happen. I, you know, I'm, I'm intrigued with the, the story before rap went commercial, when it was just up in New York City. You know, the, the, the motherfuckers who gave them the idea, the Jamaicans who just was the DJs out with the systems in the yeah. park, you know, all that shit, just just, just what hip-hop is. And and it, uh, it's still the same thing right now. It's still we still battling. We still talking shit. We That's still right. trying to have a lot of sound system. That's Ain't nothing changed. That's right. <laughs> now, now you Cali raised this shit. You've been, you know, in Cali all your life, repping, 
you know, West Coast and the flavor in Cali. Obviously, the big talk in the last, I don't know, 10 years is the fucking weed out here. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, trying to legalize and, yeah. you know, the, 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 the kind of uh, fucking snowball and avalanche effect that happened where now California definitely has the best weed in the world from north to <coughs> south. You know what I mean? What, what do you feel about, you know, our, our 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 position in the fucking legalization spot? You know, we're, you know, we should have been first, but D- Denver and, I mean, you know, Colorado and, and uh, Washington went first. Well, we're not, uh, this, this, is, this state is sort of like a, um, like a testing ground for many different things. I think mainly because the size of it and, you know, just the forward thinking, you right. know, how many different communities and different races we have that just are, are open, you know? Right. And I got to go all the way back to fucking like the 60s, some shit that I, I wasn't even around. Right. Where you got these fucking hippies up there that's smoking out in the open and t- experiment with LSD and who knows what the fuck else. And then... When they integrate back into society, they integrate into society open-minded about drugs. Yeah. So they, they're the reason why we smoke so fucking good. Right. They're the reason why so many people are so knowledgeable about drugs in the state of California. You know, you got a lot of people that you know that can tell you the motherfucking, uh, the, the damn, the, 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 the how to make this shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Start to finish. The ingredients, the fucking, uh, the goddamn biology get in, this, in the fucking... <laughs> and now there's dabs and all that shit. It's like evolved into so many... The science of, of getting high. Yeah. And I just feel like what if Colorado, Washington State, whatever, they fucking jumped the gun and got and got the full legalization without having it having to be medical, that's cool. But we know where the game came from. We yeah. know where this shit is at. And it's still like... You know, we should, we should have that little, that little amount. You know, just just where it's recreational, because we know right. this is this ain't no worse than fucking liquor. This ain't no ain't no worse than damn cigarettes. Not you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. basically, uh, one day I think all of us will, you know, yeah. finally wake up. It, it, you just need to be able to go get that little amount, man. Just a little smoking amount. That's you, all. You think in 216 they might finally push it through over here? You think people wake up and vote? And I can never say it? with California because it's so fucking big yeah. that you can't can't really sway the vote like you want to sometimes but but um it should it, it really should, should. It's, yeah. it's, it's not a big deal you, you plan to get into any of the businesses like, well yeah you know, i'm a collective I'm, line some anything well i'm actually uh not too far away from just just being around it so much like yeah i'm, I'm gonna invest in in the marijuana trade you know right. i'm I'm looking at what angle, so many different things. Entrepreneurship, from, for sure. From, from these tips to strand of, strands of buds, all kind of shit you can get into, so. There it is, man. Hey, uh, so, I'm in. So since you are in a smoke box, last question, because I know mm-hmm. you got a dip. You're a busy man doing all kinds of shit, which, you know, I have full respect for, you know what I'm saying? What, 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 I mean, and you're from Cali, so I know you're a connoisseur. What, what's the, the, the best strain Too Short likes to cheat? Well, my favorite is uh, when they first came with the Girl Scout cookies. That's my favorite. Girl Scout cookies. Yeah. That's my favorite as of these late last couple years. I'm, I've always been an a, a OG Kush. Just keep it kind of OG Kush. I'm cool. Just keep yeah. it that real good flavor that Kush OG like you're smoking shit. right now. Right. This kind of shit is my shit. And then uh, my guy slips me this shit, man. It's like, <laughs> it's some crazy ass weed. It's fucking, uh, they call it the Bubblegum Girl Scout cookies. Some shit. Oh, and yeah. That shit. It smells like bubble gum. It's, it shit smokes good as fuck. And then if I give you my all-time favorite, I'm like, you're you gonna know I'm gonna throw it back if I tell you my all-time favorite. What's that? Just that chocolate tie, man. Chocolate like, the, you the know that's shit. rare. It's so rare. <laughs> you can't fucking find that shit nowhere. You know the thing is that shit used to look like a golden brown, not cess brown, exactly. but golden brown. Like that a, shit was like a Hershey bar all the way around. Smell like it, look like it. Man, it was beautiful, man. Yep, it, I miss it. Yeah, I missed that too. So that's that's, that's what kind of guy. I it am. wasn't a green weed, but man, that shit tastes good and it got you fucking hammered. Yeah, mm-hmm. man. Hey, you know, rest in peace to chocolate ties. <laughs> Many of y'all got it. You know to flip it to my man too short. Shit, hell yeah. Uh, come bring real. it to Dr. Green Thumb so we can talk about it and you know get it back out there. You know what I'm saying? Word up. We've been smoking our joints on these funky field tips right here. Available at funkyfieldtips.com. You know what I'm saying? That's how you should be smoking your blunts or your fucking joints. I'm just going to say it like that. Um, any parting words you want to tell, tell the fans out there? Yo, just keep grinding, man. Let's keep this hip-hop going, man. And I'm saying like this. 
coming from California, born and raised. Support that West Coast shit because the West Coast is on fire right now. We ain't going nowhere. For nowhere, really. goddammit. Leave your comments. <laughs> leave your <laughs> yeah. Leave your comments and describe to it uh, describe. Subscribe to the channel. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know what's crazy? What You've touched a lot of fucking records, man. I mean everybody has done a feature with you or you featured on their shit. Part how, of the mission. Like like before we go, because I know I, you we just did the outro. How many songs do you think you featured on? Uh, well, I know I've recorded thousands of songs, <laughs> but features, damn, man, that's a rough ass number. It would have to be, it'd have to be, I don't know, thousands, I don't know, a thousand, man, we a gotta thousand. look that up. A we thousand gonna, features. <laughs> we go look that up and put that shit right here on the graphic. I right. do a lot of features with homies in the hood, too, man, like just, just on the, on the, because I fuck with, uh, if your, your shit might not be platinum. On the charts, but your shit might be platinum on the east side of town. <laughs> I'm fucking with that guy. <laughs> oh man, we go. We go find it out, man. Doctor smoked doctor. out. That's right. The doctor prescribes more smoke boxes for you. Word up. <coughs> I'm shit. out. <laughs>